Previously on Master Rainy. In the episode, Midlife Crustacean, this is one of the reasons why the authorities should permanently shut down the Krusty Krab. Krabby Patties are more like an addictive drug than a burger. Seriously, avoid them. Hey kids, uh, thank you all for coming. Thank you. Eat plenty of Krabby Patties. Saving him as a fake inspector, the Krabby Patter served to him was made out of the following ingredients. Volcano sauce, sea horse radish, toenail clippings, toilet water after dropping it down, and it was dried with an old gym sock. And now for a little quickie before we get to the top pick. Let's get on to the top pick. Number one, overworked and underpaid employees. Shockingly, this is more than he makes a year. And that business is run by a conniving cheapskate. Once this hits 1,000 views, I will release 10 reasons why the Krusty Krab should go out of business. I will link it in the comments here as soon as it's uploaded. As soon as this video reaches 10,000 views, I will upload a video about 10 reasons why Spongebob and Squidward should quit their job at the Krusty Krab. Keep ringing that bell, you'll be notified when it's out. Remember when I made the 10 reasons on why the Krusty Krab should go out of business last year and 10 reasons why Mr. Krab should be arrested in 2019? Well this year, here I avail the 10 reasons why Spongebob and Squidward should quit their job at the Krusty Krab. Yeah, Spongebob loves his job at the Krusty Krab and enjoys whatever task Mr. Krabs assigns him, including cleaning the bathroom, mopping the floors, and cooking Krabby Patties. Squidward, on the other hand, hates his job, and there have been some episodes of him quitting. Like mentioned in the earlier videos, Mr. Krabs resists pay raises to his employees, treats his employees like slaves, and he wouldn't make a good boss to anyone. Not for anyone to work for. Explains personally why I'd rather work at the Chum Bucket, given the choice between the Krusty Krab and the Chum Bucket. So let's begin. Number 10. Their boss drove Plankton to suicide. As shown in the episode, One Course Meal, Mr. Krabs discovers that Plankton has cetophobia, meaning that he's afraid of whales, when Pearl walks by and then Plankton got frightened. Mr. Krabs dresses up like Pearl and he tortures Plankton in disguise of Pearl. This was the result, the 415 bus scene. That's it, I'm done. The 415 bus should be along any time now. Number 9. SpongeBob was made to feed people excessive grease. In greasy buffoons, Mr. Krabs and Plankton go in a competition putting grease a part of the menu. Going in at war, the grease was given an extra flavor each time the customers go back and forth. This action may not have led to Mr. Krabs losing his two golden boys, but this led to the Krusty Krab and the Chum Bucket both temporarily shutting down by the health inspector until they are tidied up. Number 8. The Rotten Moldy Patty. In Born Again Crabs, SpongeBob spots a moldy, old, disgusting Krabby Patty that no one would want to eat. SpongeBob throws it in the trash, but suddenly this was stopped by the Pinchomatic because of Mr. Krabs' unethical policy, making the employees sell bad food so bad that it would kill you. Then the next day, Squidward receives it, then he was disgusted by it. Like Mr. Krabs says, it was mandatory to sell that patty whether it's fresh or not. So Squidward tries to sell it to a customer, then it caused him to run away, leading to no customers for weeks. Mr. Krabs eats it himself, then this was the effect. Now then! SpongeBob! Yes, Mr. Krabs? Make sure you wrap up that patty! I'm not finished with it yet! Number 7. Squidward witnessing his co-worker being sold by their boss. In the same episode, upon realizing that Mr. Krabs is awake because of debt, Mr. Krabs goes back to the being the parsimonious crustacean he was, 
Then the Flying Dutchman returns to send him to Davy Jones' locker. But then SpongeBob stops this, and then the Flying Dutchman proves to SpongeBob that Mr. Krabs would take the money over SpongeBob. So Mr. Krabs is offered two choices, the 62 cents in the Dutchman's pocket or SpongeBob. But then Mr. Krabs chose the money and then he sold SpongeBob to the Flying Dutchman for 62 cents after the fact that he stood up to the Flying Dutchman for him. But how could you trade SpongeBob for 62 cents? Frankly, Squidward chews him out for that despite the fact that he hates him personally. Number six, Mr. Krabs framing SpongeBob for the theft of the secret formula. In Patty Caper, Mr. Krabs sets SpongeBob on a mission to find a thief of the secret formula along with Patrick. They accuse Plankton, Sandy, Gary, and even Squidward of stealing the formula. Eventually, Mr. Krabs accuses SpongeBob of the theft. Then it turned out that Mr. Krabs was the thief himself. The taste of his own medicine came when he was sentenced to watching customers get free Krabby Patties all day. Number five, enslaving by the boss. In the episode Clams, Mr. Krabs takes SpongeBob and Squidward out to sea upon making his millionth dollar. After losing the dollar, Mr. Krabs then forces SpongeBob and Squidward to detect the clam for three full days, which failed then he tied his employees together on a bait to attract the clan that has his millionth dollar in an effort to retrieve that dollar. Number four, Squidward being the doormat. In the episode, Chum Fricassee at the end, Squidward gets a promotion after returning to the Krusty Krab from the Chum Bucket. Well, no surprise that Squidward was promoted to being the doormat for the customers to rub their feet on. Employee abuse. Mr. Krabs would definitely lose his employees, business, and be sent to prison. Number three, Mr. Krabs convincing SpongeBob to serve a nasty patty. In Nasty Patty, SpongeBob was convinced by Mr. Krabs to serve a health inspector a nasty patty that's really sickening. The health inspector passes out from choking on a fly going into his mouth, then this. Mr. Krabs attempts to hide the crime by burying the body while SpongeBob was feeling guilty. However, the Krusty Krab managed to pass the health inspection despite the incident. Number two, overworked and underpaid employees. So you thought this would be the top pick for this video? Well, not this time, because something worse than this will be mentioned later. This occurred in various episodes. Mentioned this before, in fear of a Krabby Patty, Mr. Krabs goes in a competition with Plankton on business hours. After finding out a chum bucket was open for 23 hours, he forces SpongeBob and Squidward to work 24-7 breakless. Making them work such a perpetual breakless shift is such a red flag, depriving the sleep of employees and starving them to death. This perpetual shift went on for 43 days until Spongebob was sent to Dr. Peter Langton, who was Plankton in disguise as a psychiatrist and specializing Krabby Patty phobias. In Bummer Vacation, proof right there on the underpaid part, Spongebob makes less than a dime a year, taking more than 10 years to make a full dollar, which is another red flag. So to those who wondered about the top pick for this video, allow me to avail 10 dishonorable mentions before that. Dishonorable mention number one, fired SpongeBob to save a nickel. Mr. Krabs was proven a horrible boss, being unethical by firing SpongeBob to save a nickel. Then he refused to fire Squidward just because of his longer years of service. Dishonorable mention number two, betting a contract to Plankton to lose Spongebob after gambling. In the episode, Welcome to the Chum Bucket, Mr. Krabs goes to gamble with Plankton, then he bet a contract to give Spongebob away to him for losing the game. Such a traitor. 
Dishonorable mention number three, making SpongeBob catch all the jellyfish for him to kill. Mr. Krabs adds jelly to the menu after the customers love the jelly patty, so Mr. Krabs orders SpongeBob to catch all the jellyfish out of jellyfish fields. Then it turned out that he was killing the jellyfish in a sweatshop. Yeah, he deserved to get badly stung and burned up as karma descended upon him. Dishonorable mention number four, Mr. Krabs bankrupted Squidward. In Skill Crane, Squidward struggled to win the crane game. Then Mr. Krabs pressured Squidward to keep playing until he's completely out of money. Squidward could have just given up the game or better yet, never played it. Dishonorable mention number five, the cold, freezy environment. In Krabs a la mode, the temperature was set to 62 degrees, which had SpongeBob and Squidward freezing. Squidward raises the temperature up by one degree, but the alarm sounded and it, it turned out that Mr. Krabs forbids anyone from touching the thermostat, not giving a shit about how cold it is. Dishonorable mention number six, no pay raises. Mr. Krabs, can I have a raise? No. Even after the fact that Mr. Krabs pays his workers next to nothing, he resists increasing the salary for his workers, impoverishing the poor workers. The income for working at the Krusty Krab is significantly below the wage floor, so deep underground that it's a big red flag. Dishonorable mention number seven, no vacations or time off. Proven in the episode, Imitation Krabs, he doesn't like days off or vacations. Day. But however, in Bummer Vacation, Mr. Krabs let SpongeBob go on vacation because of being threatened with a fine. Dishonorable mention number eight, understaffing. Like explained before, he only has two workers one serving all the customers while the other cooks all the food and does all the cleaning. Understaffing does happen, but to this degree, that's such a big deal. Dishonorable mention number nine, no overtime. It is highly assumed that SpongeBob and Squidward work far over 40 hours a week, are paid next to nothing, yet he pays his employees no overtime. Every hour a week, even if it's significantly above 40, is straight time. Just plain straight time. Dishonorable mention number 10, SpongeBob underpants. In two square pants or not to square pants, Mr. Krabs tells SpongeBob to take off the round pants, making him work in his underwear, which he got mocked by Sandy for. Well, well. If it isn't SpongeBob underpants. <laughs> Are you ready to hear the top pick for this video? Aye, aye, Captain! I can't hear you! Aye, aye, Captain! Oh! Number one, financial fraud towards employees. Mr. Krabs is a fraud, for example. In Squid on Strike, he docked their paychecks for very shitty reasons, charging his employees for reasons such as breathing, standing, talking, and even existing. This led to Squidward putting up a protest in which Spongebob would exacerbate, making the Krusty Krab more popular with his lack of understanding. And Big Pink Loser, Patrick got a job at the Krusty Krab, then it was her that Patrick is charged to pay Mr. Krabs $50 an hour, and SpongeBob had to pay twice the amount, yes, $100 an hour to be exact, when he began proving that he is stealing money from employees by making them pay him in order to maintain their job. So be warned, do not apply for a job at the Krusty Krab. The minute SpongeBob and Squidward heard that Mr. Krabs is charging them money, they should have just quit and looked for another job. So what are some unmentioned reasons you thought of to explain why Spongebob and Squidward should resign? 
let me know in the comments. Also, 10,000 more views on the 10 reasons why Krusty Krab should go out of business to come. I will upload 10 reasons why Squidward should move away from SpongeBob and Patrick. Anyway, if you love this video, hit subscribe and ring the bell to hear the 53rd video of the Master Rainy channel come out eventually. Thanks for watching. This is Master Rainy now signing off.